Hey, it's Joel. I'm at the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival, and if I told you you had 60 seconds to talk about whatever you wanted, wherever you wanted, do you think you could do it? This is Ramurf in 60 seconds. Hi, I'm Peter Sassaman uh, from Haptic Solutions, and I have 60 seconds. Are you ready, Peter? Yes. Go. Okay, so first we've got a haptic glove here called the Gauntlet for feeling the shape and hardness of objects in VR. We've got some gimbal motors, like you see people using on steady cams at conventions that can provide various amounts of force on our fingers with these uh, fishing lines here. So you'll be able to reach into your game and feel like a squishy ball or maybe like a hard coffee mug, all sorts of things. All sorts of things. So let's take a look over here. We've got some other things we work on. This device here is for adding scent to your game. While you're walking around, maybe you're in a forest, you smell some pine, then you walk into a, a shack and you smell some musty smell, and maybe there's some coffee boiling over there. So you go over there and you smell a nice chocolatey mocha. We also have a wearable version here, and we're working on a newer desktop version that'll have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and all that fun stuff. So yeah, check us out at hapticsoul.com right here. Hapticsoul.com, awesome. Hi, I'm Georgia from E3D, and I'm here at Rocky Mountains Rap Festival, and I've got 60 seconds. Are you ready, Georgia? I'm ready. Let's do it. Cool. Right, so what can we quickly show you? Some fun new stuff from E3D. So here we have Revo, just dropped everything on the floor. Revo belt nozzles. This is kind of a world exclusive. We've popped them in here to see if anybody's noticed, and quite a few of you have. They've ended up on Twitter, but we're really, really excited about those. We are also most excited that Obsidian nozzles are finally shipping. Woohoo! Sorry if you've had to wait ages for them, but I really hope it's been worthwhile. We will be releasing all the other remaining variants of Obsidian in the next few weeks. So 0.25 and 0.8 Revo ones, along with all of the V6 and Volcano range. And then, most excitingly, or what I'm most excited about, is in a few weeks time, we're gonna be launching Revo High Flow, um, which has been, yeah. It's highly, an highly anticipated, um, and yeah, I just can't wait to show that with you. You're all going to be very excited about what's inside the, the nozzle. Oh, now I don't know what to say. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Retromaker, and I'm here at Rocky Mountain Rip Rap Festival. I only have 60 seconds. Are you ready? I am ready. Let me tell you what I got here. I've got resin and PLA printed swag lampshades that are styled from the 1960s. I've got coasters in the uh, 60s and 70s styles with filament swaps. We've got our uh, snow globe here that I won the uh, holiday contest on uh, printables with. I've also got these little uh, wedge houses, which I like to stick in my neighborhood in cracks for people to find little miniatures. I'm really into miniature miniature work. I've got some over here, uh, some train models that I originally started with. These are resin printed with high detail. Alright, and then I've got the retro TVs here that are a phone holder. You put your phone in and watch your favorite old show. And then I've got some inserts that I'm creating. I've got a boom box here with a Bluetooth speaker. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the 60 seconds. Hallo, mein Name ist Stefan. Ich habe einen kleinen YouTube-Kanal, der wächst aber ganz gut. Und ich habe 60 Sekunden. Are you ready? I am. In German? Ja! <lacht> ich bin hier heute am Stand von 3DQ. Und ähm, die haben was ziemlich Cooles erfunden, was ich einfach faszinierend finde und was, glaube ich, eines der Zukunftstechnologien beim 3D-Druck sein wird. Und das sind die Bogenüberhänge hier. Man sieht es hier. Die Bogenüberhänge ermöglichen einem wirklich dreidimensional mitten in die Luft zu drucken. Das Verfahren ist super einfach. Der Druckkopf fängt hier in der Mitte an und macht langsam nach außen immer größere, größere Kreise und unterstützt sich immer so selber, dass das Material einfach nicht nach unten tropft. Damit kann man richtig coole Sachen sofort supportfrei drucken, wie diesen GoPro-Halter äh, hier, der einfach auch große Dinge mitten in die Luft gedruckt hat. Und sogar solche Sachen wie, wie, wie Türmchen und Bäume und so weiter und so fort und solche super Sachen. Checked out 3DQ. I'm Alex at Protopasta and I have 60 seconds. Ready, Alex. 
I'm ready. Go. All right, let's go over here and check out all the protopods that we brought to the first Rocky Mountain Rep Rap. This is nuts. There's so many people yesterday. It's a great turnout. You have to come next year. So check this out. We've got all these crazy multicolor filaments. If you haven't heard of it, this is Nebula. And guess what? Nebula is so popular. People love it so much. All those green, or all the purple, blue, pink, that we made even more of them. There's six other new Nebulas that have more glitter, different glitter. I love Nebula. All I kinds of crazy color. stuff. And uh, more multicolor. People love the multicolor. You get more than one color in a spool. How cool is that? All right. But like, look at all these colors. They're all made from scratch. We make them all in Washington. We start with raw ingredients, powder, pigments. We, s we also make composites. We start with powdered metals. And we put them all into the plastic. We control every step of the process to make the most amazing end result. If you haven't checked out ProtoPots, so check it out. $10 credit this weekend only at Ar Armor 23 right there. Hi, I'm James with VoronKits.com, and I have 60 seconds. Are you ready? Ready. Go. Okay, so at our booth here at uh, Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival, we have a fully printed R2D2 made out of 23 gallons, or 23 rolls of PETG filament. We also carry, of course, Voron kits. That's what we're known for. So if you're looking for a Voron kit, we're a great place to check out, as well as we want to introduce everybody in the Voron world to the Voron belt kit. So with the belt kit, you can literally 3D print nonstop as long as you keep the filament full. It's, a, it's an excellent system from everybody from the hobbyist to the home manufacturer. We're also a dealer for E3D, Wham Bam, Polymaker, and of course we have great R2D2 custom products. One second. There we go. Time. 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 There you go. I'm Mateo, and I'm at the 3DQ booth in front of this print farm, and I've got 60 seconds. Are you ready, Mateo? I'll try. Go! All right, so we had eight hours to put together this print farm on Friday, and as you can see, it's been running fully automatically all night long. We've got a ton of parts printed, and I'd like to tell you a bit about it. So, these are just standard desktop printers. We work with any type of desktop printer running Marlin. We've got our special build plates. They're 600 times stickier when hot than when cold. When they cool down, the printers just knock them off. And how do we power that? We power it through our automation software. So this really, really cool software runs through a ton of Raspberry Pis, completely local. You just wire them up together, and you can put as many printers as you want. The, all you got to do is link uh, your filament, the printer type, type in, you know, I want a hundred vases printed, which is what we did here. And it'll just route everything automatically. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm Melissa from Cookie Cat at the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival, and I have 60 seconds. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go. Okay, so we have beautiful filament that we sell. We design all these gorgeous colors, and you can get them at our website at Micro Center. And we also have CADIT software, which is an easy-to-use CAD software where it makes it really easy to design your own 3D models. So if you're interested in printing really gorgeous prints or designing your own software to print your own things, meet us at cookiecad.com. I have so much more time. I could tell you about everything. So we have pretty pastels. We have new silks. We have dual extrusion silks. We have chip filament. 15 seconds. We have glittery filament. We have shimmery rainbow glitter filament. We have everything you need. So see you there at cookiecat.com. What's up, everybody? I'm Big Jano at Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival, and I have 60 seconds. Ready? Yes, let's do it. Go. 
All right, so I do a lot of DIY 3D printing projects here with incorporating LEDs. We have this giant wall-mounted LED nozzle here with some addressable LED strips here. Uh, I have a little controller that's underneath here. You can control the LED lights. You can do different colors, different patterns. It's, it's really cool. It's really easy to do. Uh, it's really cheap. All these files are on printables. I'll show you at the end. Uh, we also got these really cool hexagon light panels that, unfortunately, I don't have up and running right now. But you can see here a video we had up and running yesterday. Uh, these look really cool. And it's the same exact controller. Same exact uh, LED strips, and um, I also do a lot of other really cool DIY projects. We got these really cool, fun, little festive uh, 3D printing tombstones here with some 3D printing failures and their demises. We got here, we got Extruder Earl, and then we <laughs> over here we got Hot and Harry. If you guys want to see more of this other stuff, I hear all my projects. I'm on YouTube, Big Channel on YouTube, twitch.tv slash Big Channel. I live stream all those projects. And this has been an awesome experience. So many people I've gotten to meet. And thank you guys for watching. That's time. Awesome. Yeah. Hi, I'm William. I'm with Waxen. We're here at the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival, and I have 60 seconds. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. So here at Waxen, we're a local company here in Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, we're in, we design and assemble the WXR machine. This is our flagship 3D printer. Uh, we also have our own Waxen Classic filaments. Uh, we have this available in. Uh, PLA, PETG, we're getting a bunch of other materials here soon. Uh, we all have a slicer software over here. This is our Wuxin slicer. It's a derivative of Kira, but we have taken it and streamlined it, make it easy to use. Uh, one of the things that is seconds. important about this machine is that it comes fully assembled. It's got its own wizards that help calibrate it to make sure that it prints reliably and with high quality. We designed the frame to be extremely rigid, very high quality parts. Uh, oh gosh, no. You go, you go, so, yes. fully assembled out of the box. It's available at wuxin 3 dcom It's for 850, $849.99. And uh, we're getting ready to ship out the next batch here soon. And, and we're done. <laughs> Hello, my name is Chris Taylor at Norris.com. And I'm at Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival. And I have 60 seconds. Are you ready, Chris? I am ready. Go. So at Nerese.com, Nancy Echo, Romeo, Yankee, Sam, I print rockets, I print vases. Keep the mic up here, you're talking to the mic. I print rockets, I print vases, I print missiles, I print toys, I print swords, I print everything. Even my viewers bring their own prints. One of my viewers, Lightspeed, brought his little V6 can here. Then I'm next to dragons. What do you do with dragons? You bring the dragon slayer. Step back, please. I can take care of those dragons, no problem. <laughs> I build rockets that are tiny. So you have these little tiny rockets that print with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. You have regular rockets. You have rockets made of Pringles cans. And then on each end of the table, you have three meter tall high power rockets that'll fly on high power motors to around 10,000 feet. I like rockets. <laughs> N-E-R-Y-S dot com. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Andy here at the Inland Filament booth at Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival, and I've got 60 seconds. Are you ready, Andy? I'm ready. Go. All right, thanks for visiting the Inland booth here at the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival. Over here, we've got the Hextraction from Zach Friedman of Void Star Labs. Check out his stuff. It's the Gridfinity 2.0, which was launched on April 1st, but not really. And then over here, we've got some different samples of things that we printed with Inland Filament. We've got a lot of new colors coming out. We've got almost over 450 different SKUs at your local Micro Center. You can also buy Inland Filament on Amazon.com. And we have free shipping from both Amazon.com and from MicroCenter.com. We've also got the Creality. I'm going to get it right. CRM4 here. And we are printing some very little things on this very big printer. But we printed some big things as well. So make sure to get to your local micro center and check out all the Inland Filament we have. And also Amazon.com Inland Filament. Hey, thanks for having me on your show. That's time. <laughs> Wow, 60 seconds, it goes really quick. Thank you to everybody that participated. The first annual Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival was a giant success, and hopefully these little 60 second snippets gave you an idea of some of the cool stuff that's there. We'll be here again next year. You should be as well. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in. Rocky Mountain, all the things. And as always, high five. <laughs>